We fell out an Airbus today, boys. What's going on, guys? So last time we did the uh, Boeing 737, so I thought, why not, you know, switch it up and do a longer flight with a different plane? Again, I don't even know if this is gonna, you know, be a thing or not, but maybe I do videos on different planes. And I mean, there certainly are a lot to choose from. I mean, these are just the ones in Flight Simulator, and that's not even factoring in X-Plane 12. But that's a beast for another day. All right, so let's do a quick flight plan in SimBrief. Let's do San Diego to Cleveland. All right, and we're gonna pick our airframe, which is gonna be the Airbus A320. Flight number, cheese. All right, we're gonna hit generate, and we're done. All right, everything looks good on, uh, looks like we're doing the Zoo 3 departure with the meatball transition. I love that. All right, friends, so we're at the gate in San Diego in our Airbus A320, the fly-by-wire A320. It's an add-on, and I mean, look at how detailed this thing is. You'll see more as we go through it, but fly-by-wire did an amazing job. And the best part, it is 100% free. You can download it whenever, wherever. The PMDG 737 that we flew last time, that thing is $70. And I mean, that's not to say it's not worth that price tag, but for something of this caliber to be 100% free is just, oh, chef's kiss. So we're gonna do cold and dark as always. The first thing we need to do is turn on our batteries and external power. All right, next thing, crew oxygen supply goes on. And one of the coolest things, this again, this is a free add-on, is this guy right here, the EFB, or electronic flight, uh, electronic flight bag is what they call it. You see here, import SimBrief data. We click that bad boy and it just loads in our flight that we just made on SimBrief. And then, if we come over here to our fuel tab, we click on that and it automatically loads our block fuel from that flight plan and we can just start reviewing, which is gonna take about 30 seconds, so that's not too bad at all. And let's get to programming that beautiful CDU here. This is, it's definitely different than the 737, but it's pretty simple. I use my iPad for programming the CDU on this. Pretty cool, eh? Okay, so we're gonna select the FMGC and the first page we go to is init. And if I just hit init request, it's gonna pull that flight sim. I got it up. If I just hit init request, it's gonna pull that sim brief flight plan and automatically put it in there. Okay. IRS init, we're gonna select to align on reference. Confirm align, so that'll do its thing in about five minutes. We're gonna do a cost index of 500 because we like to go fast. The other thing that's very important for Airbus is it really wants to know wind data. Okay, let's go to flight plan. We're gonna select our departure. Two seven. We are doing the Zoo 3 departure. Beat all transition. And for Cleveland, we're doing ILS 24 left. Novia, insert. Now, just like the 737, we don't want discontinuity in our flight plan. So we're just gonna scroll through these waypoints here and just hit clear on that discontinuity line. The other thing you want to get rid of is anything that says manual. Okay, so with that done, we need to get our weather data, which we could listen to Aetis, or we could do it the super cool way. Check this out. See that right there? Pay attention to this guy. We got the data right here, or I can hit print, and that's gonna print out right there for us. So we can have that data. So now that we have our weather, we're ready to go to the performance tab. So we know the outdoor temperature and we set our V speeds by just double clicking on these soft keys here. All right, let's go back up top. So we're gonna set our cruise altitude to 39,000 feet. We're just gonna move that one notch over. So if we come back over to this handy dandy EFB tablet, it has Navigraph charts integration. So if I type Kately, go to approach, we're doing ILS 24 left, we can see 109er.9er is going to be our ILS frequency. So we're gonna do 109.9 there. Our course was 238 and you need to put an F there, meaning it's you know front beam, not back beam. Let's get our APU turned on first. So we turn on the APU master switch right there and then we turn on the APU starter. Right auto. What's going on with your legs there, dude? If we look at the ECAM here, we can see what's going on with the uh, 
APU. So since our APU is on, we're gonna turn on our nav, beacon, and strobe light. I don't know if all of those have to be on, but I know one of the three definitely does. The other way we can verify the APU is on is by the exhaust coming out of the pooper on this guy. See? That's where the APU is. It's a small turbine engine in the back of the plane that generates power. Okay, we're ready for push and start. So let's get some light in here too. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn our APU bleed on. All of our fuel pumps are on. We're gonna come down here to the pedestal and set our engine to crank and start up engine number two. All right, we're gonna stop the pushback. All right, so engine two is started. Let's do the same for engine one. Okay. According to that guy, we're ready to rock. And I'm gonna hold the brakes because this thing likes to roll. Okay, taxi lights are gonna come on. They were already on, don't judge me. Well, let's give it some juice. We're gonna taxi via Bravo. Oh, hey bud, you're in my way. A Formula One turn onto this runway. A little bit of a run up just to make sure we're uh oh hold on let's let's get that brighter and send it this thing gets up to speed very fast as you can see auto throttle automatically turned on and we'll rotate Gears coming up. Move the throttle handles back to climb. Turn on AP1. Bring our flaps up. Let's take a look outside. Cool looking good. Well, that's actually very cool. Um, that's Ocean Beach. That's Dog Beach. I used to go there with my buddy. Uh, that's Mission Beach. That's Sea World. I went kayaking through here. It was awesome. The Pacific Beach is up here in La Jolla. Look at the clouds, though. All right, while we fly through the clouds, let's go ahead and turn off our APU, because we don't need that anymore. The difference comes when we get to our top of climb and our cruise and everything. Unlike the 737, we don't plug in our descent data until we get closer to the top of descent. So we have a little ways before we have to do actually anything meaningful. Oh, look at that. This game is just beautiful. You're not even getting the whole picture either. I have a 49 inch ultra wide monitor, but if I was to record <laughs> that resolution, <laughs> you would have the thinnest little bar. I will catch you guys. When we get closer to our uh, descent. So uh, a few hours, a uh, wardrobe change, a shower, and some Taco Bell revenge later. We are back. We're not quite at our top of descent yet. So we're going a little over speed, but don't, don't worry about that. I'm serious, don't worry about that. It's not a big deal, all right? Anyway, we're getting close, actually, to our top of descent. Now here's where this differs from like the 737, uh, VNAV would take you all the way down. This you have to you know, manually initiate the uh, the descent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this tool here. So we're gonna sync that. So we need to start our descent about 122 miles before you know where we need to be. So we'll see at Browns, we need to be at 12,500 feet. Once we get closer to Browns, looks like we've got a little ways to go. 
quite a bit actually. Hi, it's a new day, another wardrobe change. Uh, the game crashed last night, so there we are doing this again. We've begun our descent, and I went through and went to the CDU here and uh, requested weather for our destination because we're gonna need that. So, printer there. Okay, so if we go to per, we're gonna put in this uh, approach thing here, the data. So we can see the QNH is your altimeter setting. So we are two niner, niner, nine. Two nine dot nine nine. Temperature two. That's the, this guy here, the zero two, and then the slash ammo for me is two points at zero four. And then wind is one four zero at eight knots. And just like that, we're pretty much programmed and ready to rock. I do love <laughs> that I have the fighter jet guy and, uh, Autopilot from the hip of the airplane as my avatars here. It looks like filler. Fid filler is where we're gonna intercept the ILS, so. <laughs> um auto landing is honestly a little bit easier on this. Because you don't need to turn on the two autopilots like you do with the 737. The only thing you have to do is manually initiate the descent, and then after that it's pretty smooth sailing. And then once we get closer to the uh, ILS intercept, I'm just going to hit landing system. And then uh, approach when we intercept, and that's all there is to it. Okay, so this, <laughs> this here is Lake Erie. One of the uh, one of the Great Lakes. We also know that the uh, Cleveland Guardians, the baseball team, used to be called the Cleveland Indians. Well, apparently, my grandmother she used to work at a hotel in Cleveland back in like the 80s, and she said people would fly in all the time because I mean, look how big this is, and be like, "What ocean is that?" And she would say. It's the Indian Ocean, and they'd be like, what? She'd be like, y'all, duh, Cleveland Indians. <laughs> Those people would be like on the phone telling their family members, like, did you know the Indian Ocean's in Ohio? So, way to be a troll, Grandma. We miss you. Brown Stadium. First Energy Stadium. A lot of pop-in happening and apparently a cataclysmic waterfall right there. Okay. So, we are turning to Alamer. And pretty much as soon as we straighten out, we're gonna swap over to the landing system. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Random frame drops. Straight now, please. Straight now, please. Okay. Landing system engaged. We're gonna drop our gear, give ourselves one notch of flaps. Make sure our auto brake is set to medium. And as soon as we intercept the glide slope here, we're gonna hit approach. Wait for those to fall into place. And approach mode. Our speed brakes. One thousand. Oh, full flaps. Hmm. 
Traffic. Traffic. Shut up. Must be because I'm recording, because I usually don't get frame drops like this. Four hundred. But it does mess with the physics. Four hundred. Four hundred. There we go. Now we're stable. Three hundred. Two hundred. Looks good, three green. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. All Twenty. Right. Ten. Now we're gonna Retard. throttle all the way back. Reversers. So I'm noticing that these uh, jetways aren't actually connected to the uh, terminal. So, you know, we're just gonna do one of these. All right, parking brake on. We're gonna kill our engines. Well, well, I guess we're done. All right, so yeah, that was how you fly to uh, Cleveland from San Diego in a Airbus A320. Hope you had fun and we'll uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.